Well, hey there, SDL TV, Angela Sharp. Welcome to my house. Okay, it's not my house, but you guys are in for a trick or treat, if you will, today. So have you ever wondered what happens before you go to a haunted house? Well, Scarefest has the lockdown on haunted houses here in St. Louis, and they're gonna show us everything that it takes to be able to work in one of these houses so they can scare you. We're talking about paint in your face. We're talking about ghoul school, and I'm gonna show it to you all right here. So keep it locked right here on SCL TV. We're gonna make you know, one of our nurses for the new asylum. Like here at Creepy nurse. World this year. A creepy, scary nurse. It, it just kind of fell into my hands. Um, I started uh, at Six Flags Fright Fest and was painting masks with what was not recommended to paint masks with at the time, and then introduced into what was appropriate um, latex based paints, and then from masks to walls to walls to faces. Oh, wow. So it just kind of fell into my hands, and that's. I'm kind of half and half, paint the sets and do makeup, just kind of what I focus on nowadays. I love it, okay, cool. So I guess now we're gonna base you out real quick. going on right now is ghoul school. This is for people who are already employed or actually looking to audition. They are talking about different ways to move in a creepy way, different ways to yell at people. You can't just pop out and yell apparently. That doesn't work. There's different ways to beg for things or dominate. It's very, very interesting and that's what they're doing right now behind me. We like to staff on our busiest nights up to 120 people. Um, we don't usually like to go below about 90 people. So we look for lots of energy. We want to make sure that you're willing to make yourself look like a fool because at the end of the day, that's what we're all doing. Uh, then we like to make sure that you have personality and that you can bring something that we haven't seen before. We like to see a lot of volume, a lot of movement. As long as you're willing to show us that, you can get loud, you will get loud. And you're willing to move around and not just stand still all night. Uh, then if you put a little twist on it, a little extra laugh, something crazy like that, that's what we always love to see. A majority of our staff is always returning. People kind of view this place as like a family, another home away from home, and we love that vibe. Hey, everybody, how's it going? Woo! <laughs> my second year working at Creepy World. Uh, the people here, they'll do anything for you, they'll help you out when you need it. Uh, they're really great friends. Uh, the people here I didn't know that I know now, it's just a blast doing it. I'd do it if I didn't get paid. But yeah, I'd say some of these guys are pretty close. Uh, I, I've done things outside of here for them, helped them out when they needed it. Uh, last year I was over in uh, Rikers Prison, breaking out and getting away from the police, taking it back over. It's ours now. I'm so trying to be an actor. I can't do it, but this is so much fun. There are tons and tons of things to see right here at Creepy World. We couldn't even show you all the different scenes and different ways to be scared. You definitely are gonna have to check it out for yourself. And it's not just Creepy World. There's also the darkness and the lamp. You can go to scarefest.com to find out where you wanna go, or you know what, check them all out because it's gonna be great. These guys are amazing. Gotta come see it. For SDL TV, I'm Angela Shaw.